Welcome back to another episode. Welcome back to episode three. Oh my god, fuck yeah. We're so excited to film today's episode. Yes, sir. Ski. How do you feel today, babe? I feel really good. That's um, good we went to go pack some eyelash orders. Thank and God. what did we eat today? Today we ate some. Uh, we just had a huevos, huh? Yeah, uh, I guess omelet, no? Yeah. Oh, huevo en torta? I guess that's the same thing. Really? You call it huevo en torta? Tor huevo en torta, eh? Oh shit, I didn't Scrambled eggs. No, but it was an omelet, huh? In the end? Yeah. Yeah, because estaba todo, todo parejo. How what do you feel today? I feel I feel good, guys. I I still feel like normado, ¿verdad? Se me, se me oye I poquito. Know. And that's scary because everyone's getting sick right now. Uh, Yesterday, I was feeling like this too, mormado. And like, like what's what's up with that? And you made um caldo like two mm -hmm. days ago. Yeah, I did soup. And it helped a little bit, but otra vez, like, se me, se me vino otra vez, no sé, no sé. And I did it's soup like, because I was kind of feeling, like, a little, like, sick, too. But it was so quitó. good. And I'm so glad que se me quitó. And I'm so glad you like the soup. Hell yeah. Chicken soup. Yo creo que es como... It feels like an allergy, Wobby. Um, And I think I always get like this when, when the cold is kicking in. You know, the weather. Mm -hmm. So, I'm thinking it's probably that, like, a type of allergy that. of the cold. Everyone's sick right now. It's really fresh over so here. Guys, cuídense mucho. It's fresh already here in L.A., so... So, I love it, to be honest. Even though it makes me feel like this, I love it. Yeah, like, me too. Mil veces que summer low-key. Oh, fuck, yeah. I'm more of, like, a fall girl, especially because I'm a Libra. And my you were birthday born in is in September. So, after September, like, I get so excited for all the holidays especially because i'm like oh my god it's gonna be october halloween then thanksgiving the food christmas yes. like especially food will be. yes that's my like, that's my thing over everything my favorite thing about holidays is food thanksgiving will be. that's next dude after halloween yeah right yeah like sure. i don't even want to look cute i just want to eat all crusty so you're a fall girl and i'm a winter man you like strictly winter boy. True, because your birthday's on January. My birthday's so. in January, so I'm a winter type of dude. That's why I like cold uh, winter mm -hmm. season. Yep. What's it called? Uh, so what you wearing today, Wobby? You looking extra cozy. Oh, Can I borrow it? It's you like actually a... could because it's oversized. And it's black too, so yeah. definitely I could I'm so rock obsessed it. with my outfit. Like I tried. Wobby, what you wearing? Fall vibes. Let them know what, what you're wearing. So, my shirt is Forever 21. My headband is our store, Velvet Angel. Dude. And this cardigan is from our store, too. Dude, I'm so obsessed Let me, with can it. Can I touch it? It's so soft, dude. dude yeah. I like it. I and like I it like a lot. I like that I could dress it up and I could wear it when I'm bumming it. You know how I'm always <laughs> bumming it? Yeah. Like, ustedes me ven Sometimes. bien bonita y todo. But at my house, siempre estoy toda fodonga. Y cuando me arreglo para hacer videos, nomás me arreglo de aquí para arriba. You always look beautiful, oh, Wobby. Every like single beautiful. day. Bumming oh, it or, or not. Thank you. Wobby, and I like that it has pockets, too. I know. Like, dude, I gotta have pockets, dude. Like, if it's, oh, like... So cozy. And then this skirt is from Velvet Angel, too. Nice. It's funny, because you're, like, so cozy on top, but, like, <laughs> yeah, you're wearing sandals. Yeah, you see, you guys. <laughs> like, ahorita me ven bien diva. Uh -huh. Y mira con la chanclota. They could probably see it. Oh, no. It doesn't... No alcanza. I like it, Wobby. That's bomb. No más te falta de pantuflas, Goofy. And he actually just came here around our feet. You I could, know. like, just put your feet there if they get cold. Fun fact, <laughs> siempre, me, siempre me agarro a Goofy de pantuflas, huh, babe? Always. And he growls. Like, le meto mi pata bien fría. <laughs> because, because he's, like, mid-sleep, you know, mid-dream. So, so you're warm. bugging him. Yeah. Well, he thinks you're bugging him, but all you're trying to do is just get a little calientito. My yeah he's like right here in the bottom we're gonna you know talk talk a little bit about when we you know we were in middle school me and erica really like to talk about those times together and like we just we just remember like when we first had our crushes i know when like what was the what was the shit back then like we always like remember that stuff and we always like tell each other 
And I think we've told each other like several times like the same stories, huh? Fuck like yeah. some of them. <laughs> and it's always fun and, yeah, <laughs> and funny yeah. to hear, huh? Dude, I'm like a past kind of girl. Like I'm really big on the past and like memories, especially like if it's something funny, I'm never gonna forget it. I see friends from elementary and middle school. And I always bring up stuff, huh, babe? No se te olvida nada, Wobby. And um, sometimes, like, I hear you talking to, like, like your friends or or even, like, your cousins. And you guys are always talking about, like, stuff like, oh, remember when mm-hmm. when fulana, like, did this? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and I'm just, like, thinking, like, dude, I wonder. I just imagine in my head, like, you know, what they're saying. And, you know, they're reminiscing and shit, obviously. And so I'm just, like, dude, like. Cada rato, like, te estás acordando de algo. Like, you have a really good memory. I feel like I value the moment a lot. Heck yeah, you do. Like, if, if something's funny, like, I've always remembered to, like, like, it sounds corny, but, like, así como to look around and enjoy the moment, because that's the only time that you're going to be in that moment. You appreciate it a lot, huh? Yes. Yeah, I could tell, Wubby. And friends that I have, like, when I remember stuff, they've even told you, Wubby, they're like, how does she remember this? Yes, <laughs> I do remember that. I forgot be- about that. Yeah, I'm trying to think who who said that to me. My friend Angie from Mimi's Cafe. Oh, okay. I, literally, I was like remembering that we were when we were in Mimi's Cafe. I, es que no me acordaba el nombre de ella. Yeah. Sí, esa vez. Y también cuando like, fui a Snow Monster. Oh, my, true. Yeah. And that was recent, too. Yeah. You saw like an old friend, right? Mm-hmm. She was working in uh, Snow Monster. Mm-hmm. Oh, we love that place, by the way. Fuck yeah, love Shout out to beach. her, too, what we nos dio. Nos dio macarons. Macarons. Macarons, yeah. dude. Even Heck macarons. yeah. macarons. Tan carísimos. Carísimos, por cierto. Dude, I will eat a whole box of 24 counts of macarons. I'll eat, I'll eat it in the same, the same freaking sitting, dude. I'll eat it all. Fuck yeah, me too. They're so delicious. But yeah, Snow Monster is bomb, dude. Um... And let's see. So, so in middle school, I mean, I don't could how far could you remember? Like, is it even past middle school? You remember, like, you know, primaria and shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah, primary school. Mm-hmm. I remember up to like first grade. I think that's the farthest I can remember. A little bit of kindergarten, a little bit. I remember kindergarten a lot because I remember I would cry so much. Mm-hmm. Because I missed my mom. And also because I had a lot of really good friends. I'm still cool with some of them. From from kindergarten? Yeah, like my friend Samantha. Uh-huh. That's been my best Oh, wow. That is, that is crazy. That's a long way, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, that's like more than 12 years. Because, well, yeah. all the school years together is 12, right? Yeah. And like, I like that me and her, we drift away, but through it all... Like, I'm like, that's always going to be my best friend. Mm. That's like, that's really cool. She always supported me no matter what. And, like, I remember I danced. I performed at Shakira the last day of school in kindergarten. <laughs> and she was, like, clapping for me. All yeah. And shit. You remember that? I'm like, damn. Like, little girl empowerment. That's to cool. the man. That's nice. I fucking love her. You know what? I do remember past kindergarten. I remember in preschool, and I've told you, I think, uh, there was this one day, uh, todos co- estábamos comiendo en la mañana cereal. We have those little those little cup cereals at the time. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? I remember eating that, and I remember yo estaba bien volado with my preschool teacher because she was pretty, dude. Bobby, no I remember way. that low-key. And, and what makes me remember more, too, is because... Dijo ella algo, and it was something that I didn't want to do. She's like, oh, it's time to do this. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no. Y, y me, como que, we were like sitting down on the carpet. Mm-hmm. And then I go, no. And then I go forward, y que me pego en la cabeza bien machín on the carpet. And the carpet's like hard, dude. Yeah. It's, it's literally piso. Yeah. And, pues, que me doy el chingazo. Y, oh, no, nunca se me va a olvidar el dolor, dude. I wanted to cry, I remember. Uh, Have I told you that before? It? No, did no? You, no, you haven't. I thought I had. Did you get embarrassed because you had a crush on her? No, no, like I, I, I didn't really know about that, you know. Mm. Like, oh, my crush, or I like her, well, or like that. I just have the, I had the feeling that I liked her. 
Oh. And okay. I, I do remember because also, um, my mom has like photos of that time too. Mm-hmm. So I see the photos like, oh yeah, I thought I I remember I used to think she was pretty, Aww, and it was I think it was a preschool teacher's assistant. Okay, yeah, yeah, she wasn't like the main preschool teacher. Yeah, they had assistants sometimes. I wonder where that picture is for sure. It has to be in my mom's house. But I gotta show you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, from what I remember from the picture, she looks like like she's like 90s apparel movie. She has like mom jeans on <gasps> with like a white shirt. That's like so how you dress. Cool. Yeah. I love seeing the fashion from like back then. Yeah. Like the pictures, huh, mommy? That's yeah. Like pointed out. The preschool I went to, I think... I think it was here or if not peoria arizona i don't know but do you remember anything like when you were in preschool like that far with me no i just you remember can't. already being miserable and thinking i'm gonna have to do this for four years in the school four years in middle school and four years again in high school when when did you think that in kinder yeah already oh, wow you were thinking about that already would it hit me i think that's why i'm so anxious dang i think what made you want to think that you don't remember what do you think literally like I, just feel, I feel like i've always been like super ahead of my time like i was already having those thoughts in kindergarten dude that's stressing and looking at the time as a kid uh, i probably thought that when i was probably like second third grade i want to say that's when i started probably that's when i started thinking like how long or how much more school do i need left oh dude that was so annoying to think about yeah like just looking at the clock (laughs) guys we should be so grateful we're out of that bitch if you are (laughs) yeah and if you're still not hang in there i am so sorry baby but hang in there yeah if it's and it's worth it if it's three more years too that's nothing bro yeah you already finished like like more than seven years yeah because i also think it's stupid like to drop to drop out of school when you're almost done it's Heck like yeah. well, just do it like you're already there mm-hmm. and it's gonna help you so much in your future yep i know a, a, a couple people yeah that that they didn't finish school and they only needed so like two or three years it's like dude you should have just finished bro yeah that's crazy so then kinder you were thinking about that stuff for me like that's you you made it tough for yourself pretty much dude yeah like yes, that was the, the mornings ahead of that time was probably heavy as heck for you that's i mm-hmm. gotta suck damn but the good thing you went through everything dude you already finished high school like that's that's what's really good and what we, i clearly remember thinking that damn dude like i think i was sitting down waiting for class to start yeah and it was in bell gardens bell gardens elementary what's a good thing you remember from kindergarten um oh i remember that one or something time. that pumps you up yeah <laughs> i remember that one time i asked to use the restroom with a friend and we went to the playground <laughs> oh, instead of going to the restroom yeah. and like we just never came back to class and they had to what go the... look for us <laughs> what yeah. how long were you guys gone do you remember i don't know just that time flew who, who went to go find you guys or look the for teacher. you guys and she called you guys out do you remember yeah but that teacher was so nice her name was miss nieto she loved miss me nieto. and my sister because she had my sister too oh and sneaky asses yeah, dude she would just laugh yeah she would just like smh do you remember feeling like bad like like i got caught you know you, no, you weren't scared that teacher would never make me feel like so that. you were like whatever like oh, okay let's go back to class yeah dude i could imagine you my my kindergarten teacher's name was uh valde negro miss mrs valde negro algo así valde negro was it in Belfort? it was an older lady no that was in phoenix oh okay yeah west phoenix first grade the the thing i'm always gonna remember and i feel like it happened yesterday dude because i just clearly remember like uh this one traumatic event happened obviously everyone almost the whole world knows uh but it was when uh the twin towers were collapsing because of the airplanes and i was in first grade and it was in the morning and i remember it so so well dude uh because dude i got scared because my teachers were like they kept going back and forth with each other 
That's you know? scary. And I noticed, like, they were like, see, así con las manos cruzados, así, las señoras así, tocándose la cara y así. Y ellos no dijeron nada, dude. They didn't, they didn't say nothing what was going on. And, but I was very vigilant. Like, I was I was very aware of what was going on. And I noticed. Mm -hmm. I noticed by their by their looks on their faces. Like, That's worried. That's going on? Yes. That, that got me really, like, nervous. Like, anxious. Like, what is going on? You know? I, that day, like, I didn't... I was Do you remember that day? And, yeah. So oh, you were in school, kinder? That's true. I don't shoot. remember anything. That is crazy, dude. But I remember that when I got home, it was, like, all over the news and shit. Yeah, when I got home, sad day. that's when I found out what was going, what had happened in the morning. Dude, I can't believe that happened, pinches locos. But as a little kid, yeah, like I was freaked out at first since I didn't know what it was. But afterwards, when I got home, I, in the news, my parents had the news on and mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, se veía que pasó y así. That's that's one thing I remember from first grade, and that's crazy. I, that is true though. I was in first grade when you were in kindergarten. I remember in second grade. I think that was the first time I had a crush. What? <laughs> are you are you getting jealous? <laughs> you for you. I'm gonna you go just, fuck up that little girl. <laughs> you just stay there like eyes all frozen. <laughs> When was the first time you kind of had a crush, man? I kind of had a crush in fifth grade, but I've always fifth been. Grade. But I've always been like prideful. Yeah, I'm fifth grade because I've always been prideful. I'm getting there. Like I remember in elementary school, there was a lot of little kids that liked me, uh -huh. but I was like, oh, no me gustan los niños, like all like conceited. I remember you telling me this. Yeah, and then in, in fifth grade, there was this guy that. He had asked me out, but I already knew that, like, all the girls liked him, and he was already a little putito, and I didn't want to look stupid. I was like, this is not going to end well. So he asked me out, and I said no. So oh, wow. that, so, like, I didn't really let myself have a crush on him. You like, played but, hard, dude. That's what you kind of did to me. That's funny. Yeah, but in sixth grade, I didn't play hard at all. I was a regalada. Yeah, you were more confianzuda. And that's because that was, like, my first actual crush. Hmm. He was one year older and he would hang out with my cousin. And I remember just going out to lunch. And since we didn't have the same lunches, I would see him like hanging out with my cousin. And I was like, oh, my God, he's so cute. And he was like a little skater. Like he had long hair, skinny jeans, his skateboard. And that was the shit back then, dude. For you guys? Especially because I thought I was like a scene queen and everything. So I was like, we would be such a cute couple. I was so obsessed with him. So was that your first crush, Ruby? Yeah. So what grade was that? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had my first crush second grade, dude, I think. Yep, second grade. Yeah, now I remember. Because third grade, it was the same crush. Then fourth grade, changed crush. And then fifth grade, changed crush. Yeah, so I had a couple crushes. Starting second grade. Dude, I loved having crushes because it made school so Dude, fun. Dude, tell me about it. I would be fucking pissed if my crush didn't show up. Dude. I would be like, what's the point of school? Isn't that crazy, I should have not even Dude. came. Yo también, la neta, yo me evitaba. Like, no está. Like, where is she? Where is she? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. Low-key would be boring, huh? I would be all buscona, like... Like, is he here? Oh my God, bro. <laughs> si, yo, pues. Pues, si, yo me evitaba que no, no la veía en shit. Pero cuando estaba en mi escuela, qué día tan bonito, huh? Would you talk to her? <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't talk to her. No? Hell no. I was Why? A, dude, I was a scary cat. Oh, my God. I was little, too. Dude, me? Like, you know those grades? That, is that primary school or middle? Primary, huh? I'm talking about middle school. Oh, yeah, I'm primary school. God dang. So I, I was like earlier with that shit, huh? Fuck yeah. God Can damn. Volado. And <laughs> since me and that guy weren't in the same grade, yo toda busco, and I told my cousin, hey, tell him, like, oh, my little cousin, like, she's really cool. You should get to know her. But I was like, don't tell him that I like him. But, like, he needed to notice me. Uh -huh. I was literally 
you know the song the one way or yes uh, yes that was me to that guy and Bruh. he ended up being my boyfriend like probably like four times or more like we ended up being on and off so did he ask you out or what how did he become your boyfriend yeah all the times he asked me out i wouldn't ask out hold on i want to know how he asked you out Babe, because he got to know me. No, 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 no. no. Bitch I'm, you're not understanding me. what I'm telling you. How did he ask you out? Did he Did he tell you? Like, hey, you want to go out with me? Like oh that? Oh, my God, with me, yes. He, okay. to, he did that? Yeah, okay. So you want a story time? Dude, just tell me how he asked you out. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Not a, not a whole story. So I was coming out of my... So it was after school... I was walking to where my dad would pick me up. So this is like your first boyfriend? Yeah. Okay. My dad would pick me up in front of the school, Bell Gardens Intermediate. And when I was walking to the exit, I saw him and he told me, Erica. And I was like, <gasps> I was like, did he fucking call me? Mm-hmm. So I now, like, I turn around, like, trying to keep my cool. Like, okay. hey. And I was like, what's up? Okay. <laughs> and he was like, do you want to be my girlfriend? Bruh. Oh, no, 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 no. I think he said, do you want to go out with me? Oh. And I was like, yeah. Bro, you didn't fucking that think about it? No. You just said. That yeah. was my crush. So you said, yeah, sure. Or just, yeah, okay. I said, yeah. And, and then, then what happened at that? And then we hugged. <laughs> and then I just, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I just went to go meet my dad. And you told your dad. No. Oh, are you sneaky? I was like, si supiera. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if your dad noticed, like, oye, esto porque vino tan, tan feliz? No, porque yo soy actriz. You hit it? You, so you acted like you were like, yeah. Yeah. ¿Cómo estás, mija? And you're like, mm-hmm. pues bien. I've always been really good in acting. Oh, hiding it, ese. But they ended up finding out. When? Like, how long afterwards? Um, Probably, like, when I went to seventh grade. Seventh like the grade. end of seventh grade. Damn. So so that was in sixth grade. Mm-hmm. Then later on in seventh grade, yeah. how'd they find out? I had love letters. Hijuelach. Yeah, like my binder was love full letters. Of love letters. But it was like really funny love letters. <laughs> Where are they at? <laughs> dude, I have a feeling you kept those shits what till is- high school, dude. What I have I have a feeling. I wish I did, honestly. What you memories. do to them? What you do to them? Pues las tuve que tirar porque <laughs> mamá me las, me las halló. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, she found them? And, like, that guy was so funny. Like, in the love letters. Not as funny as me, but okay, yeah. In the love letters, he would put, like, a carta de los temerarios. <laughs> what the? Oh, okay. Like, cards, like, to call Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I remember I know like, talking about. funny shit like that. Or, like, I would draw, like, a lady that worked in school. Or, like, things like that. Damn, so he has some humor then, huh? Yeah. We were, like, a funny-ass relationship. I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, well, damn, that sucks that you got caught. Throwing away, like, those letters. Like, damn, that gotta suck, yeah. dude. Um, I'm glad I had a good memory with my first boyfriend ever. Because he was never, like, at the end, yeah, he ended up breaking up with me for some other girl. But I never had, like, a bad experience. Así de que me manipuló or anything like that. So that's good. Dude. We ended up, we ended up, we, um, ¿cómo se dice? No, it's not hit it off. Ended up in good terms? We ended up in good terms, mm. like, just as friends. Mm. Well, that's good. You guys had a good time. Yeah. You know. What about you? Your first girlfriend ever? Uh oh, I don't even know if I should count it as it, but I I've told you I think. Uh, it, I was I was in recess, and like these girls would come up to me. I was in I think a sixth grade or fifth grade. I think fifth, sixth, probably sixth grade. Mm-hmm. Oh well, these girls would like go up to me as I was playing football. And I'm playing football and shit. Y estas morras venían hacia mí. Hey, Adan, fulana, uh, she, wants to, she wants to talk to you. They would come up to me, tell me that this girl wants to talk to me. But they didn't say, they wouldn't say well, what she wanted to talk about, you know. So I wouldn't really take it serious. I'd be like, uh, well, I can't right now. I'm playing football. 
Y, would play hard. Yeah, I was lucky playing hard because I didn't really like her. And but then I didn't really know exactly what was going on, but I did have a feeling. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. So I was like, no, I can't. I'm playing football. Y me iba con, you know, running and shit. Yeah, you y have se, a feeling when someone likes se, you. Yeah, y se iban las, las morras y, y regresaban otra vez. Adán, she really wants to go talk. She wants to, she wants to talk to you. She wants you to go. And I low-key start getting annoyed. Like, no, I can't. Like, I'm playing football. <laughs> Damn, what? And, and then finally, they the girls leave and they come back again. They finally say what she wanted to talk to me about, you know. They're like, oh, she said that if you want to go out with her. And my stomach, dude, like, is sunk. Like, like of nervousness. And for some reason, I said yes. But I said it like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Because I was so, you know, focused on fo- my, the football, you know. I was playing yeah. football. You were all about football, huh? And, yeah, and so there, you know, like, okay. The, the girls leave and the girls come back again. And they're like, oh, Adan, um, she wants you to go over there. Like, if, if if you could go for just for a couple minutes. And I don't know for what, you know, I was like, no, I can't. And I was so tired of saying, no, I can't. I'm playing football. I was like, no, I can't. And and then the bell rings. Like, it was time to go back to class. It rings. And, and I was so annoyed, dude. I go walk towards where she was at. She was waiting for me. I was like, fuck, and I was low-key trying to avoid her. <laughs> Dude, I was being, I was I was just like, I don't know. I don't know what I was, like, going through. She but was busting on me. I was just uncomfortable. And even even though I said yes, like, you know, um, I go up to her, dude. And, like, she, yeah, she was like, abuladilla, you know. And I'm just like, you know what? I was like, it's over. And I just walk away, dude. Damn, and I felt like a badass saying, it's over. Pero, and I said that, dude, but but during that time when I was walking to class, I was mad. I remember I was annoyed. I was, like, annoyed. She like, annoyed man, you, huh? She annoyed she me. Crazy, yeah, oh, yeah. She kept sending her friends, you know, and shit like that. And, um, but then, again, like, I didn't have no experience with that shit. Mm-hmm. So my emotions were everywhere, mainly annoyed. So I guess that was my first, I guess, girlfriend that lasted like what twenty minutes, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking, it's ridiculous. But yeah, that happened in uh, West Wind. I was in middle school already. That was in West Phoenix, over there by Ninety First and Avenue. So what we? So middle school. What was your favorite thing about middle school? Like, do you remember? My favorite thing was that I had like a group of friends that was big. And Damn. it was so fun. Like a big group, like a big group, like a lot of people in the, yeah. in the group. Well, I actually oh, had two cool. groups because I would always hang out with the year ahead of me, mm-hmm. the one that that boy was in and yeah. my cousin. So I would hang out with my cousin and him a lot and other friends. And then I would also hang out with people in my year. In school, you would hang out with them or after school too? Both. Both. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I would go to the skate park a lot. I had a skateboard a cruiser, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I had a regular skateboard and a cruiser. Mm. And we would hang out at the skate park a lot. Um. So this was in Bell Gardens, right? Yeah. Yeah. I actually... I remember that one time we actually came to the skate park in Paramount. Yeah. And it's so crazy that I ended up living here. That is funny. And you were so young too. Damn, dude. Your parents didn't know you went that far. Yeah, they did. It's not so far, but it's far going like on a skateboard. We ended up getting a ride. Oh. From, it was one of my sister's friends and he had like a really cool family. Like, era como niño de casa. So Mm. they let us go. Oh, okay. So, what was your style? How was your style? Like, kind of skatery then in middle school? Yeah, I would tease my hair a lot. I would wear bows. I would yeah. wear uni- I would wear uniforms, so I would wear, like, the little skirts with the long socks mm. and collar shirts. And that's a style I still like. Like, I really like schoolgirl. <laughs> you went, skirts you kind of cycled time. back to it now, huh, again? Yeah, porque es donde... Uno vuelve a donde fue feliz. Bruh. My style in middle school was whack, dude. I'm not gonna lie. From what I remember, it's just like a, I guess, a, I guess, I don't know if you call it normal or average, 
yeah average i guess i didn't really have a style i remember in middle school well i was like about to finish primary school going into middle school like fashion wise i remember i used to be really really into i guess obsessed you could say uh when g units came out it's like a a, a, a shoe a shoe from 50 cent mm-hmm. he came out with them dude and and i remember i was so so like so into them and thankfully like my parents were able to buy me them and well school they would make us wear uniforms so the most i I would be able to do was the shoes you know yeah like different types of shoes so those shoes were my go-to man they were my freaking favorite shoes i was so happy with those shoes g units they were black and white white with black and to me man they were so nice they were from reebok so so loki sometimes i I see reeboks in the in the shoe stores Mm mm-hmm and some of them do remind me of those and low-key sometimes i want to buy those like oh because they remind me of the, the fucking g units but yeah. i don't know if you guys remember those shoes but th- i feel like those shoes were the shit do you did you ever hear about those no no yeah i did you did like I you didn't, didn't care I about them remember how, i don't even remember how they look mm. but oh, yeah. yeah i get you because i would do the most to dress up my uniforms too yeah which is why i would wear the long socks Mm-hmm. bracelets and like do my hair yeah you're the you're i feel like you were the type to wear i love boobies oh my bracelet. god bracelet yeah. the next boyfriend i had ah. got me a bracelet that yeah. i love boobies yeah i think i wore a couple towards middle yeah towards the end of middle school i think yeah i wore a couple mm-hmm. those are the shit dude fuck yeah uh, um sumis i don't yeah. know i do when i was younger i never went to those stores but yeah i would i would like notice those bracelets on people he's a messy i'm being chingon it's like damn look it says that word <laughs> like i and i want it like they were like for a good cause they were for breast they were? cancer I that's think. cool and i would really enjoy dressing up my uniform and getting really creative mm-hmm. and i think a lot of girls would hate on me because of that too because yeah. i had a group of friends mm-hmm. And that group of friends, from one day to another, I didn't do nothing to them at all. Nothing, like, nothing. at all, Wovin. No, nothing. Oh. And they hated on you? One day to another, I went up to them to go hang out with them, and they all ran away from me. Literally, like... Yeah, it was a group of four That girls. sounds like a, a scene in a movie, dude. Right? Like, that's some fucked up mean girl shit. And what the heck, what'd you do? Like, you got sadder. I was like, I'm not gonna go after them. I was like, that's fucked up, but... What do they think I'm gonna go chase them like up in the hat? Like, and you just walked away, like, to, yeah. I was go? like, haha, you guys look stupid as fuck because they were trying to dress like me. Oh, so yeah, I was like that's giving Ardida. Like, oh, yeah. you're running away from me, they're obviously saying stuff about me mm-hmm. while you're trying to look like me. Like, mm-hmm. wait, were you close to these kids or? Yeah, yeah, it was my group of four friends. Mm. What year was that? Like, sixth grade, too? Sixth grade, yeah, sixth grade. I think they were hating because I ended up going out with that guy. Oh, hijuela. Yeah, they didn't like you. Mm -hmm. But it was so fake, though. How could they do that? Just walk away from you or run away? Little girls are mean. Heck yeah, dude. Tell me about it, Loki. Like, I've been noticing um, with, like, my nieces and stuff. Like, when when they're playing around, like, at parties and stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not niña, see? Like, <laughs> dude, you can notice right away. Like, I wear esa niña bien cabrona. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel bad for, like, my nieces and shit. Yeah. I have more stories about, like, incidents like that or bullying. Mm-hmm. But we should do another video about that. Okay, definitely. How was your high school years? What were you, like, was it, like, fun or, like, you know, enjoying as, like, how you had a good time in middle school, too? Like, was it similar? Like, fun and shit? Or how was yeah. it? um for a while i'm not gonna lie like i would be so annoyed in high school but then again it could be like my teenage hormones yeah because now that i look back some teenagers be extra as fuck babe oh yeah super like están insoportables yeah they get all moody i don't know where mm-hmm. and shit yeah it's crazy we went through that too yeah i mean my high school years was cool definitely a a big change in my life when i went into high school did you notice like a big change like that too like did you feel it like oh shit this is high school yeah i did me too loki me too and it was even more of a change after i moved high schools fuck dude like being a new girl was Mm -hmm. like 
grade. So you were in high school already in Bell Gardens? I just did ninth grade in Bell Gardens. Mm. And, and then, then you came I to Paramount. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ninth ninth through twelve. I did all my school years here too in Paramount. My middle school I went to Collins right here in uh, Long Beach. I think it's considered North Long Beach. And I went to school there, eighth grade, and then high school in Paramount. Wait, you never went to high school in Phoenix? Oh, yeah, that's true. So I started ninth grade. I went to Paramount. <laughs> Tenth grade, sophomore year, I went to Phoenix. Because I was, at the time, I was living with my aunt and my uncle had mentioned in prior videos. Uh, but... For whatever reason, my aunt wasn't able to, like, have me in the moment. So she would send me to an uncle that lives in Phoenix. And I would go over there for for a couple couple months, you know, sometimes a year. But for sophomore year, I went to Phoenix for half a sophomore. Then for the second half of, of, of sophomore, I came back, finished sophomore year here. Mm -hmm. Then my aunt again wanted to send me back to Phoenix. Uh, pretty much the same they reason. Like they're like, foom, 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 foom. my parents lived in Mexico at the time, and so, so you know, I was trying to pursue, you know, my 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 school and all that stuff here in the U.S. So that's why I was like, I kept staying with family members and stuff, mm -hmm. relatives. So after after I finished sophomore year here, as I was saying, yeah, my dad wanted me to go back for junior year. So here I go back to Phoenix again, junior year. And this that time I stayed the whole year in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. I finished junior year and I was like in a charter school, dude, like charter high school, so like hella different from normal high schools. But after junior year, I was like, hell no. Nah. I was like, I'm, I want to go back to come back over here in Perma this time, finish school here, like mm -hmm. and just stay here for good. And you were in a charter school too, porque las otras escuelas ya habían empezado, ¿verdad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entonces no te so I kept going back and forth to a charter school. I wasn't able to go That's to a normal so high school in Phoenix. The charter school I used to go to used to it was called uh it's still there, I think, Estrella High School. It's in Goodyear, by the way. Um dude Loki, I fucking hated that school. It was, it's like for me it was so whack, dude. It's so oh, small. It yeah, it was so lame. They have like classes in the mornings and nights. So they definitely work with you like when say if you're like really bad on credits. Like, you could catch up there, like, fast. Mm -hmm. That's that's the good thing about it. Yeah, but what sucks is that you weren't even bad on credits. No, I wasn't. You I, just didn't have a school to go to. No. No podía ir a una escuela normal. I couldn't go to a normal high school because uh, they asked for a lot of shit. Like, the, like, they want court papers. Like, who's your guardianship? Oh, your guardian and all that. And they wanted, they wa the schools wanted it so, like, documented like that. They couldn't just accept any kid. Even if it's, you know, a, a, a student that's a, with a really close relative. Like, they, they wanted court papers. That sucks. Yeah. So, I always wanted to go to this one high school called Copper Canyon. Um, yeah, that was, low key, that, was, that was my, like, the school I really wanted to go to. If I would have stayed in Phoenix. But, yeah, since it wouldn't work out, yeah, Stereo High School was the one. The charter school. They don't really ask for anything. They just enroll you right away. But thankfully, for senior year, I came back. Thank God, dude. I was so happy I came back, finished senior year, and towards the end, towards the middle of senior year. No, the beginning of senior year is when I met you. Yeah. When I when I saw you, pues. Mm -hmm. And um, and I just tell Erica, dude, how crazy is that, Wolvie? What what were the like the chances, like? What if I wouldn't been able to come back over here and I would have like already started my my young life, you know, starting to work over there after high school yo or something. I wouldn't have met with you. Cuatro hijos. I wouldn't have met you. <laughs> I would have had already a bunch of kids, you think? Yeah. I don't know, but dude, I just think it's crazy, dude. Like the universe is amazing and and dude, like destiny, dude. It's mm -hmm. just so perfect, dude. But despite, like, going back and forth with, like, school, like, in my situation, I, I was lucky enough to, like, make a lot of friends, low-key. I, yeah. I met a lot of new people. Cuando iba y venía, yo, yo ya sabía con, like, yo tenía amigos esperándome. 
Damn, See, what's up, man? Yo, oh, thank yeah. God you're back. You know, whatever. When I moved, I was like, well, That's at least cool I'm going to have more friends. Yeah. I looked at it like the positive. And you did. When you came to Paramount, you st- you were still in contact with your friends in Bow Gardens. Yeah. And you had new friends here, too. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty cool feeling, like, having, like, a lot of friends, dude, honestly. Yeah, but it took a while to adapt, for yeah. sure. Like, for a while, I felt really alone mm-hmm. until I found, like, a group of girlfriends. Mm-hmm. They were, like, really roqueras. Oh, yeah. But it was, like, super fun. We don't talk. I just talked to one of them now. Yeah. But I appreciate the memories, for sure. That's Aunque cool. Quedamos mal. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You got to experience like that, that type of style too. Like of like you know, yeah, I guess they were super punk. As a local, I would consider it like, oh, she's rocker, <laughs> huh? Like that video that we did on TikTok. Hey, you a rocker, huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's funny. That was literally me. <laughs> That's cool. And then, like in senior year, I, in senior year, I had another group of friends and. Mm-hmm. We were more like into like the whole party scene, mm-hmm. like the parties in Paramount and Compton. Yeah, going to kickbacks and shit in Compton, yeah. Linwood. That's that's cool, dude. I miss those times. I mean, me tocó like ir esos tipos de, de parties. And um, honestly, I, I really had a lot of fun. Fuck yeah, me too. I was telling Adan was that those parties aren't really a thing anymore. Yeah. And he's like, what do I think they are? They're, they're... Just that you're old now. <laughs> no, I don't tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but like basically, like I'm not in high school anymore. So yeah. I don't hear about that. We don't hear. Yeah, you know, but like what if there is? We just don't really hear about Guys, them. comment That's what I tell below her. if you think that parties like that. If you're from L.A., if flyer parties are still a thing. Are they still a thing? Yeah, please comment down below. We want to know. I don't think so. No, I think I think they maybe it's not considered that anymore it's probably just a party because be- before yeah it would be con- considered that no like flyer party also flyer party yeah but oh, it's a kickback teenagers a kickback. are more chill now yeah because like, no, you're no. not gonna do nas balloons that's some stupid ass shit so there i feel like there is parties they're just very low-key yeah yeah como antes si ya rápido no Sí, I feel like now they're super low-key y vas a parties sin invitación exacto con tal de que iba a haber alcohol mm-hmm. Nas balloons, weed, fucking, I was there. Maybe they were I more... Gi- I didn't give a fuck whose party it was. <laughs> maybe they were more public before, were we? And now it's more personal, like, oh, invite them, invite them. Yeah. Maybe. What if sure. it changed like that? And it is the new generation, too, so... Mm-hmm. With that being said, after high school, we went to college, didn't we, were we? Yeah. You went to college for a year? Oh, I fucking hated it. <laughs> I went to college for, like, three years, guys. You went Three for years. a while. I went for a low-key couple. I didn't think I was going to go that long, to be honest. I just thought, like, I'm going to go for one year, and that's it. And no, I just kept going. I low-key liked it. The time I went, I went to Cerritos College. The time I went, I liked it, dude. It was chill. Um, I, the parking was annoying. Oh, <laughs> the park. Oh, Yeah. You didn't have to deal with that though. She would she would get dropped off. You don't you don't even drive so. But yeah, you're so right though. But there was a time where me and you had a class kind of close. We did, yeah, we did, we did. And I remember looking for parking and being like. Oh, you would be yeah, you would be with me. Mm -hmm. We would go. Pero la la neta la neta, I do not miss going to college, dude. You either. I had a bunch of bad experiences. Yeah. What kind were we? Oh, I need to... I remember a couple, I think. But what, what what happened to you? Well, it was like when people would already start to recognize me. And I don't want to be mamona. Like, I know, que no me reconozcan, you know? Mm-hmm. But it was like people that like didn't like me. You would sense it, huh? No, it was obvious. Oh, really? Yeah, like one time I was in class. Mm-hmm. One time I had a it's class. It's annoying. Mm-hmm. And... When I got there, everyone was just staring at me. And there was Damn. there was two girls that I was cool with in that class. Mm-hmm. They would sit in front of me. Mm-hmm. And they already knew what I did. And they didn't make me feel uncomfortable or nothing. Oh, cool. And I really okay. liked that. Mm-hmm. Pero me dijeron, oh, the whole class was talking about you right Damn, now. What? What year was that? Were we 2015? Um, no, huh? 2016. 2016. Yeah. 
And, and what, yeah, what you tell them? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? I don't know. I don't remember. But they yeah. ended up telling me that some girl was hating, like she was saying, I don't even know why she has followers. Like, wow. she doesn't do shit. Like, she's not even that pretty. She's not even talented. What a hater. Yeah. What class was that? She looked all scared when I got there, too. That fucking bitch. Ooh. I yes, think I it was you like... Could... We will write essays English, I guess. Oh, yeah. Language mm -hmm. arts. I think it's considered. Oh, yeah, it is considered English. Oh, that's annoying. I'm glad the teacher didn't find out either. Because no. I got there and then a guy asked me to like super loud. Why didn't you tell us you were famous? What the fuck, dude? Yeah. Me dijo algo así. Y at first como que me quería hablar. Mm -hmm. Pero no sabía cómo. Oh, my God. Creo que me the same class? Yeah. He was annoying as people there, huh? Mm -hmm. And the girl that sat in front of me, she told them, you know, you could talk to her. She doesn't bite. Something like that. She defended me. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Who she tell that to? To them. Because they were still making it obvious that they were talking. Like a about. little group of people? Yeah. It was like, what, three, four of them? Yeah. Like, yeah. I think like they were in high school and shit. Oh, dude, uh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. They were acting like they were in high school. They probably just got out of high school. Probably. Well, I had gotten out of high school, too. Yeah. But you they were I was the same age as you? Mm -hmm. No one does that, dude. Who the fuck does that? Especially, like, that guy screaming that. Oh, why didn't you tell us you're like, who the fuck? Yeah. Who's going to say that about themselves? Like, especially, like, people who, who are actually humble, you... You know, us, it's like, we're not going to be like, oh, hey, I'm famous. I know. They expect you to be like that? Like, that's fucking, yeah. well, that's stupid, dude. Mm -hmm. and Pero, pues, ellos, dude, ellos se, se, como que se, se enredan en su mind. Like, dude, yeah. chill. But I made that dumb bitch feel stupid as fuck. Because. Oh, I was going to tell you, did you say something back to her or no? You no, didn't but stand she up? just looked fucking scared. Yeah, and well, you just I stared think, at her? I told or? them, you know you guys could talk to me, right? I told them. Ah. Uh, and I said it like really cool. That's oh, okay. Yeah. And the teacher, she went. That's so fucking weird. Dude. The teacher went to her restroom break. And when the teacher went to her restroom break, mm -hmm. a girl came in the class to ask me for a picture. What the? So that weird. Make, that makes it so like, like, I don't know. I can't imagine what you, you were feeling because uh, your main mission was to go to class you know, as a regular student, as everyone, you know, do your work and shit, not not be dealing with all these, like, all this, like, outside stuff that's going on. Right? Esa madre te inter interferió machín. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, y también cuando esperaba Dan, muchos, a lot of guys would go up to me, and it was super uncomfortable. Like, I felt super unsafe. Like, from the same class? No, no like, just... Just random? Oh, yeah, yeah, dudes are fucking weird. In college, dude, mm -hmm. they think they think they could like, they could just go up to a girl and have a shot. Yeah. Even though some of them they do they do have a good intention, some of them, but most of them like, all right, don't be too friendly now. Like, scoot over, dude. Yeah. I know I, that sucks, dude. That you have to go through that. Yeah, and it sucks because when I was in college, <clears throat> I just felt like the whole world was against me. Because it was when I would get, like, a lot of comments on Facebook. Mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. You I was like, Facebook they don't there. like me anywhere. Like, they don't like me in Facebook. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Yeah, it's because that time was tough, dude. For you especially. You were, like, you were you were getting pretty much, like, punches. Like, not literally, pero, o sea, te estaba soportando de, de, de la gente como es de mala, dude. Yeah, Mucha I was like, gente. they don't like me like in college. I know, and... They and, don't like me in Facebook. Like, my parents, they didn't really support me. They, yeah, they weren't fully, you know, uh, I guess, understanding yet, huh, what you were doing when you were, you know, doing social media and stuff. And, but why, why were you going to college in the first place? my parents mainly right yeah you because since your parents weren't really uh you know believing in like making videos you know could be a career they would tell you like you're gonna go to college or what you're gonna do right 
So that's why you were you would go to college. That's why you started to go to college. And then another thing was that like there was people in real life that would act different with me. Mm-hmm. Like even people in Sinaloa. Oh yeah, sí, sí, cierto. Like I would get hate everywhere. Yeah. Y sin, o sea, y sin conocerte, pues. La gente, nomás porque te, te, te vieron en el en, They saw the a internet. video of me being extra. Yeah, just, yeah. The, like, and I would mainly do it for humor. Yeah, humor and for advice. Like, to give advice to, to people who who will think like, oh, okay, I needed this. Mm-hmm. And some people don't get it that, you know, if, if it doesn't apply to you, simply ignore it and move on with your life. You don't have to leave disgusting comments. To anybody, like that's mm-hmm. not it's not the it's not the way to do it. Pero pues unas gentes no están ni ni contentos con ellas mismas, so it's like that's why they do it. They it don't love themselves. Strong. That's good. Everything worry. that I went through made me so strong, guys. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could take anything. Oh yeah, definitely. like look at me. I haven't changed, dude. Out of all those years. Mm-hmm. All those years, people talking shit to me. All these years doing social media, I still stay true to myself. I feel like I'm so strong. Yeah, heck yeah, will be. You've always been sweet before, and you're still sweet. If anything, you're sweeter oh, because you. I know you've gone through like tough situations like that, and I've I've noticed like it's made you stronger. Y y te has, te ha, te ha enseñado pues like you know what you need to be sweet person. To those people who actually appreciate you, mm-hmm. you know, and whoever doesn't like you stand your ground, you know, you yeah. know how to do it now. College was such a horrible experience for me, guys. Like, so, yeah, fuck yeah. I feel like the world was against me. And even with people that I meet mm-hmm. from when I was in college until now, I'm always like, do they even like me right away? Yeah. I have my guard up, hella. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you you could tell right away now, though. Like, oh, okay, that person, you know, she doesn't like me. Or he doesn't like yeah, me. They you could notice that. Obvious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, entonces, fuiste al colegio, like, what, one year were we then? 2015. For a year? Yeah. My, my mom was like, you need to go to college. Yeah. And, That's why you're like, I needed a to get a regular job, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I decided to just do me at the end. I was like, I could be making way more on social media. Mm-hmm. And you were making money already at that time, too. Yeah. It's just that you you just wanted to um, not please your parents, but you just wanted to. Yeah, I was a people pleaser. You, you just wanted to do what your parents were asking. Yeah, I thought you wanted to do. Way. So you're like, fuck it, I'll go to school. Entonces, después del año, te saliste, and you're just like, I'm going to just focus on yeah, what I'm doing. Años fui, no, no, no. I think one year. I think. Or two? No sé, pero todo eso yeah. me, me deprimió machín. Yeah. Which is why I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed for a while I stopped posting. Yeah. Like, I went from, like, posting a bunch of short videos to not posting nothing. Mm-hmm. And then one time I tried opening up that I feel really, like, anxious and depressed. Mm-hmm. And I just got, like, really negative feedback. A lot mm-hmm. of girls were like, this isn't the Erica that I know of. Oh, they were I like, Erika, te volviste bien sensible. ¿Qué te yeah. pasó? Like, dude, you have no idea what I go through. Yeah. Like, You're... muchas de ellas se deprimen con un comentario uh-huh. que les hace una pinche tía chismosa uh-huh. o una amiga. No saben lo que es o leer una extraña, miles dude. de comentarios. Uh-huh. Con una extraña. O sea, sí, sí, casi se le está acabando al mundo la gente. Yeah. Sí. So that's why I'm like, dude, I am so strong. Heck yeah. But college, my world was falling apart. It just wasn't for you. And that's okay, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, school, school's there. Pero no es para todos, pues. Ya dependiendo de la carrera, you know. Yeah. But... If you do want a career, for sure, though, college is the way to go. Yeah, of it. course. I stopped going to college after my third year. Um, and I just stopped there since. And, but that's pretty much it. It's, not, it's nothing, no big deal. You know, I'm, I'm doing my music and stuff like that. Doing my, like, other stuff. We're entrepreneurs. We, we own, you know, the, the company. Velvet Angel. Like, we got 
several it's a things we do and being and a business owner and what's it called and sometimes you know you don't need college but college could be very useful though you just you just need to try it out yeah that's pretty much that's how it is the whole point dude is to make money dude college or not mm -hmm. if you know how to make money do that that's the main thing about life dude yeah you do what makes you song. money yeah. And do what makes you happy too. That if is you true. you have a dream, go after it. No matter how many people tell you to not do it, that it's not possible. Because look at me. Mm -hmm. A yeah. lot of people didn't believe me. Yeah. Didn't believe in me. And God is really good with me. Like God yeah. loves you. And that's why you've been able to, to go through it. Especially you believe in yourself. That's the main thing yeah. too. When I felt alone, I was like, God is with me. Mm -hmm. And that helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We're we're really blessed where we're at right now. And, and all thanks to you guys as supporters. You guys really mean a lot for us. And yeah, shout out to my real ones that have stayed with me through it all. They're out there with me. And we see you guys. You guys are awesome. You like, guys are some real ass bitches for real. Like, I really appreciate you guys personally, man. Really appreciate it. Give me your handy, baby. Baby, my hand is sweating. Cause I got oh, triggered. cause you got coraje. <laughs> it's okay, well, you're good. You already know. It's not the end of the world, and you already know I'm here always to support you too. Okay, baby. Just be glad. Eso hace muchísimo paso. Lo bueno. Que ya ya no tienes que estar soportando nonsense you know and you got goofy look at he's up right now <laughs> smiling <laughs> smiling at you i think he's like hot so his mouth is all open like <sighs> but for like erica for erica that's like him smiling or laughing yeah. that means that means laughing for erica all right guys and that brings you another ending of another episode from hate it or love it podcast you know we appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with us today we definitely want to give a huge thank you to every single one of you that has already subscribed to the hate it or love it podcast we are we're about to hit 300 subs with me that's that's amazing it's truly a blessing feel free to share with us any experiences you guys had when you guys were like in the middle school or or high school something that that really impacted you guys definitely would really enjoy reading those in the comments below yes, i love to know anything yeah, like about yeah. schools yeah so we'll see you guys on the next one peace <laughs>